Hey everyone, today we're fishing at Kathleen Lake. Now some of you might wonder, where is that? Well, we are in the Yukon Territory, north of British Columbia. Now to get all the way up here, if you were to walk from Vancouver, BC, it would take you eight days and to drive roughly around 29 hours. Thankfully, Rod and I took a flight directly up to Whitehorse yesterday, and then we drove up to Haynes Junction. And the drive to get here from Haynes was about 15, 20 minutes, which is so much better than walking, biking, or driving. We're in the middle of nowhere, but it is in fact a very, very touristy place. Um, we're gonna be doing some fishing today, but you can also come out here and do some really epic hikes, including hiking up to King's Throne. Um, Kitty's convinced that we're gonna do that tomorrow, but we'll see how my legs feel. Oh, the clouds are so perfect right now. Rod, get your legs ready for tomorrow. Don't even go there, we're, right? we're so going. I brought my hiking shoes, really, I brought my tensor bandage, I brought my blister packs, I brought we have water, yeah. cliff bars, sure bug spray. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> we're going. This can be my birthday present. Oh yeah, I said I've been gone to you. That's my no no no. You're not getting anything. No, to watch. Your presence is a present on a mountain. But today we're gonna be doing some lake trout fishing with our friends. I'm gonna do some trolling, possibly some jigging. So let's go. Those are brand new reels. Like, like, Pretty smooth. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I don't know. You, no, he's still there. He's a little guy, I think. Yeah. Wait, which side do you want to? Uh, we, we'll go here. Yeah. What do you recommend, Lowell? Yeah, I'd say uh, on your left. Okay. Yeah, that was, that's true. Oh, 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 there. another one. Get her, you you grab it, yeah. Oh. That's, that's too small. Nice. Lowell, as always, has found the fish. He is the lake trout expert of the Yukon Territory. We got three fish, all, all a decent size, and we had to tell Dennis, nope, this wasn't the one to keep for dinner. Um, and we released the three, and now we're just getting back onto the loop. So we, we were on a line that was picking up fish quite frequently, and then we've, we got off it, we drifted off it, and we're just getting back on track. We're kind of in the crossway right now to try and get to it, but. Coincidentally, oh. just rolling up to it, so yeah. And do you see? Are these fish on the sounder here? On the right side here, those are uh, our fish stacked okay. up. So. Any idea why they're stacking up here? Uh, I would say it's it's the structure having uh, a lot of deep water on the one side, and it uh, is a nice gradual slope mm -hmm. up. Um, so it must kind of. I would say naturally funnel the bait fish and feed uh, out of this area of the lake. So they just kind of wait uh, for their time to pounce. So that's my best guess or my theory. <laughs> Are they feeding on coconut? I'd say a, a big portion of their their diet would be on coconut. Um, there's probably um, like a freshwater fry or cisco in, in this lake as well, um, grayling as well. So. Um, yeah, it would be a variety of things. 
Silver. Yeah. <laughs> silver. Something silver. Something shiny moving around. Yeah. That attracts their attention way down deep. Cause they're fishing about 80 feet right now. But the water is quite clear. Um, so I think visibility you can probably see 40 feet away. So we mocked a few of them right now, and uh, it's very likely we're going to get another place, and you're going to be ready to grab the rod next. And you're going to be ready to help me either release it or keep it if you want it for Dins. Are you ready? Yep. It's on. Are you getting the net? Or are we releasing it at the side? We're gonna Are you harvesting? He can't wait. He's like, 30 minutes is too long to wait. We're fishing for food right now. Well, it feels very small, so it might be a good size for the two of you. So how long or been, Rod and I. So how long been waiting? <laughs> 30 minutes. Which isn't too long, realistically, no. if you think about the whole day of fishing. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's a nice looking fish. Oh, yeah, You're nice. welcome. Well, that's Look fat. at how fat it is. You have a bonker? Definitely yeah. under the one of the sides. The size that we need. Yeah. <laughs> oh my what gosh, the eyes are so buggy. Is oh, that because of fish? Oh, there's a fish there. Alright, Mole, you're on. Okay. That's because of the bonker, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, it wasn't like oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, cookie cutter size again. Yeah. Ooh. It's down probably about 80 feet, so yeah. um, I kind of, yeah, I like to take my time with them just, uh, just so you don't force them up too fast. I mean, you want to bring them up at a balanced pace that you don't tire them out so much that you couldn't release them again. But uh, we're looking to keep this fish, so uh, it's a, about the exact same size as the one mm -hmm. we just landed. I'm just gonna, just gonna hook this one. Yep. So you can hear it burping there, and that's why I was bringing it up fairly slow because yeah. there is there is definitely potential for air. Um, but yeah, if you bring them up well, that's at, why it's so fat, at the right pace, the yeah. then uh, they'll have enough energy to push through that. So yeah, look at that little parasite here. That's cool. Yeah. So when we first arrived in the lake, we had no trouble finding fish. We had fish hitting the rods left and right, but they were a little bit small to keep for dinner. We went for about a, about 30 minutes without having anything around, changed changed baits and changed lures, ended up getting two perfect size lake trout for food. Mm -hmm. We decided to keep these two. Um, Dennis, I know that you've been wanting to come out here for a while to catch some lake trout and it's something that you enjoy with your, your family. Um, with these fit, like when you're trying to select a fish to eat, what do you look for? Well, I guess you, I mean, you want to get enough to feed your family. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think the key is, and we were talking about this, is, you know, as a boat, we we decided that we wanted to have fish for dinner. So, you know, these are perfect eating size. And, you know, we, we were having some initial luck, like you said, <laughs> then didn't have luck. And now we've got our two fish, so it's probably time to go move somewhere else. Um, and these are, it, this is interesting because these fish, these two fish are, they're beautiful. They're about the same size, but when you think of big lake trout and big lakes, you think of bigger fish. I think of the fish that we caught the last time we were out yeah. here. So when I think of lake trout, lake trout, I don't picture this in my mind. Yeah, yeah, but this is a gorgeous dinner fish. And so, you know, when your purpose is to fish for food, not for trophies, this is exactly what meets the criteria and we've done our job and We've taken them out and we're going to feed them. We're going to feed them to our family and that's really important, right? Yeah.
from the snails. Lunchtime here at the Kulani National Park. Um, found a really nice shoreline to uh, take a break. Uh, stretch our legs a little bit outside the boat. Look at the backdrop of this place. Um, you know, just yesterday we were still in Vancouver and now we're kind of out of uh, quote-unquote civilization. Um, yeah, it's quiet. He comes so prepared and again he has all the, not only does he take care of the fishing, but he uh, he takes care of all the meals and uh, we, we eat really well every time we come to the Yukon. He takes care of us. Yeah, we're so spoiled. So chef, what's on the menu today? Yeah, we got some uh, pulled pork tacos, some local Yukon pig even. So you were saying yesterday, one very important thing about fishing is that you gotta make sure nobody's hungry, right? Exactly. Yeah. There's uh yeah, I was saying three things keep you, or take the fun out of fishing. That's cold, tired, and hungry, so you might as well control yeah. one of those. Yeah. And then uh, if the fish aren't biting, you just come out for a nice lunch anyway, yep. so. Yep. <laughs> Oh gosh, that's perfect. That's, that's plenty. Oh gosh, he gave me the two. I don't know if I can eat two. I probably can. can. Yeah. I don't know if I can eat these. Um, Lunch is done, we're really satisfied. We eat so well up here in the Yukon Territory. I love food, and besides fishing, I really love food. So I look forward to this trip every year. Um, we're gonna get out again this afternoon to hopefully catch a few more fish. Not only do we wanna have a couple of fish to take home to eat, um, the main goal of today's trip was to actually get video clips for Dennis, who's developing this um, fishing education course for um, Yukon Territory, so hopefully when you come up here to fish um, you can take this course to learn how to fish properly, how to fish responsibly. Um, so the video clips that we're trying to get is to how to release fish properly, which is the whole point of catching and releasing, um, is to reduce that mortality so fish can survive well and grow much bigger for the future generations. So let's get out. Um, we feel we got that food um, coma after lunch but uh, we're gonna get out and look it's coming down a little bit uh, so we can get out and catch a small old fish let's go <laughs> ready to go Zach <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> nice place to nap eh great place yeah yeah We're getting really excited, excited. That's a pretty fish. not because we've got a fish in the background, but there's a grizzly on the shoreline over here. I really want to go closer. We, we're going to go in and take a look at that. <laughs> Kitty's bringing the lining now. You know, it's, when they look like that, you never confuse them with black bears. Hey, fish. First fish. one. Watch the first one. They're definitely in a boat. 
Okay, I'm trying to talk about the Grizzly. I know that you're bitter that it stole the show. He just wants to be filmed. Oh yeah, there it goes. There. Oh, it is actually. That is, that's a fish. Somebody just jumped in it. Is that going around? Yeah. Uh, someone want to hit the back one? Oh, how did you go on it? Oh man. It's a big bait. A lot of fish too. Still there. Yeah, still on there. I got a fish too. It's my first fish of the day. Not a very big one. Let's see. I think that's a, we gotta release that one, right? Yeah. Does someone want to just pop that off the hook? Good catch. Yeah. That was easy. So that one, that one was a little too small to be kept. So we just let it go right by the water. Um, you don't want to lift that fish out of the water, right? Just go barbless. Yeah, it's quick and easy. No fish handling and yeah. Good job. Thank you. Well, that was yet another very memorable trip to the Yukon Territory. Before the end of our visit, we went to Dennis's house one evening and he cooked up some of those lake trout that we had caught at Kathleen Lake and it was absolutely delicious. Before our first visit to the Yukon Territory in 2019, many of you told us that this area is very, very special and you're simply right. Um, after our third visit last year, I really appreciate many different aspects of this territory and we've only tapped into a tiny area of this wonderful corner of Canada. If you ever have a chance to fly up to Whitehorse, you definitely want to visit McBride Museum and SS Klondike to learn the history of Yukon. And uh, I love stopping by the Ranger Interpretive Center to learn the natural history of the region as well. This past trip, Kitty and I also had a chance to visit different cultural centers to learn more about the indigenous culture of the area. For this particular episode, we fished at Kathleen Lake, but on the previous day, we went to a nearby lake and spent some time fishing for Northern Pike with some top water lures. You definitely want to check out that episode as well. And speaking of hikes, I did end up hiking that King's Throne Peak right by Kathleen Lake and we did make it up all the way to the top. It took us quite a few hours, but there was no regret. I'm glad that I did it, thanks to Kitty's motivation. You definitely want to check out that video as well. I'll have that link in the description below. Many thanks to Tourism Yukon once again for supporting these episodes. I'm looking forward to coming back in the near future to show you more of what the Yukon Territory has to offer. Special thanks to Air North for making our trips much easier as well. I can imagine driving all the way from Vancouver to Whitehorse. One thing I love about Air North is their generous luggage allowance. Um, I think the airline really understands that when people travel to the Yukon Territory, they're going up to explore. So for adventurous travelers like myself, I carry a lot of fishing gear, a lot of camera gear, as well as many different clothing for different weather conditions, so they make it that much more enjoyable. And many thanks to all of you for watching once again. I hope you have enjoyed these features on the Yukon Territory. If you have any other questions regarding the region, please leave a comment on the bottom. I'm really happy to do my best to answer all your questions. And uh, if you have enjoyed the video, please subscribe as well. And until next time, good luck fishing.